So a while back, I snagged a 2019 Epiphone Les Paul Traditional Pro 3 Gold Top, and man, that's a mouthful, for a really good price. Uh, I was at a guitar center getting strings, and I know, that's how these stories always start. But somebody was selling a guitar to the store, and I happened to glance over and seen that it was a Gold Top Les Paul, which I've been wanting for a while. I knew it probably wouldn't work out well if I just, like, butted into the middle of the thing and was like, hey, I'll offer you cash for that. So I just let them finish their thing and go about their business. And once the dude left, I walked up to the counter. I was like, how much? And they told me, and I was like, yeah, don't even put it away. I'll take it. I walked out of the store with a Epiphone Gold Top Les Paul. Ironically, I'd been eyeballing a traditional Pro 3 Gold Top that was at the store. But since this was going to be cheaper because it was used, and I kind of like used guitars because I feel like they have a little bit more soul to them, if that makes sense in any way, shape, or form. So I went with this. I took it home, and I was I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, it wasn't quite as nice as the standard 60s, but it had some features going for it that I enjoyed. The coil split, it's a nice little touch. It doesn't seem to make as drastic of a difference or as, as noticeable as the 89R, or the EMG 89R I have in a Strat, uh, but it does offer some nice tone textures for variety. It's not quite got that single coil-like sound, but it does change the sound enough to just give you a little bit more colors on your palette. The Alnico Classic Pro in the neck and the Alnico Classic Pro Plus in the bridge, they're fine pickups. Uh, while I think chrome covers might have looked better, the Zebra Humbuckers are another look I also like, so I'm pretty happy with that. I could go either way, but for now, We'll leave those alone. They sound pretty good, and good enough at least that I'm not going to be ripping them out anytime soon and replacing them with something else. And while not as hot as some of the other pickups in my other guitars, there's plenty of output here for rock and heavy metal. Now for other specs, we have a mahogany body with a maple veneer, a 60s style C-shaped mahogany neck with a 12-inch radius. It looks like a Pau Ferro fingerboard. Uh, CTS Electronics with push-pull volume pots for coil splitting. Epiphone Alnico Classic Pro Plus, Classic Pro Humbuckers, uh, Grover Style Diecast Tuners that they feel pretty good, and they might even be unbranded tuners, or Grovers, I'm not sure, but they feel pretty good and they stay in tune. And it's got a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length with 22 frets, Loctone Tunematic Bridge, and a stopped tailpiece. Uh, the guitar looks good for the most part, some minor finish issues, some clear on the neck binding where it goes over the body, some minor imperfections in the gold top, and some color on the binding, but the glossy top looks fantastic. The satin back and the neck took some getting used to as far as looks go. I'm just kind of used to the glossy backed, single cut Les Paul style guitars, but once I got used to the look of it, I kind of like it, but I still, I don't know, it looks off to me. Uh, but I do like the feel of the neck. There is a mahogany veneer over the back of it to make it look like one piece of wood. Mine looks like it's probably actually two pieces from what I can tell. Might be three. Uh, but if it is, they really hid the line well for the third joint. Uh, the satin finish neck is superb and I prefer satin finishes on necks. So between the shape not being too bulky and the satin finish, it feels great for a guitar like this in my hands. I'm not sure of the full history of this guitar as it was bought used, but upon getting it home and leaving it as is for a couple weeks, I ended up putting on a set of Ernie Ball Ultra Slinkies and adjusted the intonation a bit, but other than that, nothing. Uh, and it plays great. I don't have the action set super high, but it isn't exactly laying across the frets but the 12 inch radius on the fingerboard will likely let you get pretty low. I wasn't big on the Pau Ferro fingerboard, I thought it was a little too light, but with the gold top it looks okay. I probably would like it less if this was a black guitar or a darker finish guitar, but even still, I prefer the look of a rosewood or at the very least an Indian laurel fingerboard. Now I had footage and audio of the guitar, but I had some catastrophic computer problems that resulted in the loss of some scripts, footage, and audio. And in the time since then, I got... Um, I made some minor modifications to the guitar. I installed Grover vintage style tuners because I just like the look of a gold top with those old snot green keystone style tuners. I changed the control knobs to black and gold speed knobs and I installed a black pick guard. Other than that, I didn't really change anything that's going to change the tone of the guitar. I was able to use the existing screw holes for the new Grover tuners I installed. But I only went with one screw in the back per tuner instead of two because honestly I just didn't feel like drilling holes. And that's working out so far. I had to drill holes for the pick guard though because these guitars do not come with one. And the knobs, they just went right on. All in all, this Epiphone Les Paul Traditional Pro 3, which is still a mouthful, it's a decent guitar. If you can find them used for good prices, I'd jump all over it. I'm guessing the previous owner didn't know much about setup and whatnot. And Guitar Center didn't hang on to it long enough for them to do anything to it, uh, but it played great. 
Uh, it had a great setup and it played well. Besides cosmetic choices that I'm not completely on board with, it's a decent instrument and a great mod platform if you're getting into if you're getting it for used prices. I can't say I'd buy this for the $399 US that it sells for new, but even then that's not a bad price. As much as I think this is a decent guitar, I would gladly get rid of this and put money towards an Epiphone Gold Top 50 standard because to me that is what a gold top Les Paul looks like. For the time being though, I'm playing this guitar and I'm really enjoying it. And like I said, if you can find them used, jump all over it. Mm -hmm. 